Hate it. Don't uh, get your little money. Let's go to the next one. I'm going to 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 go to the next one. I'm going how are you? Very good, Seko. Congratulations with the uh, 40 years anniversary of Amata. Oh, my pleasure. I... That was a marvelous event, I should tell you. <laughs> yeah. And we, you and me met uh, three and a half years ago in Mongolia. You had uh, three buses, long caravan, and making film about Mongolia. Please tell us about what was the trip first about, and then have you reached your goal there? You see, it's the first time for the southern parts of Asia people uh, make the trip by the you know, motorhome to Mongolia. We never have such a, in the history. Uh, the reason is because uh, uh, the southern part of people would like to know what happened in the north. And we really uh, learn how the north people are living, doing, you know, especially the environment. You are living in such a different of the environment uh, compared to us. We learn why the uh, Mongolian is so tough because of the weather, because of environment. And the reason I, I would like to go to uh, Mongolia is because of, uh, I would like to learn how the Mongolian, you know, uh, can go that far to the western side of the world. I really learned how good of your Mongolian horses. I really sitting on the horses and try to see how far he can run. How and was he it? Really, really running so well. <laughs> and I, 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 I sitting on there. I think I, I don't do anything at much at he running. I should say that he should be tired more than me. But finally, uh, I tired more than the horses. Oh, I see. More than and, and, and I really learned that that horse is really so strong. And horse is really bring the Mongolian go to the western side of the world. You know, uh, that is the thing I learned. I really learned about uh, the northern part people, how they're thinking, how they're doing, how, how they're living. Is it? Big difference between south and north. Yes, of course. The uh, what you call the behavior because of your environment. Okay. You know, cold uh -huh. minus 30, 40. Uh -huh. It never uh, happened in my country. You know, only plus happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that that is a basic thing. And what was all this film about? You went to other northern countries. What yes. kind of in two trips you made? Uh, Yes, we went to the uh, Inner Mongolia, northern part of China, and also uh, we went to Siberia, uh, Kazakhstan, mm -hmm. and Silk Road. Mm -hmm. uh, that is for the north. In fact, uh, we, we already reached to the North Korea, uh, but in that time, they are a little bit uh, sensitive between America and uh, 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 North Korea, Still so is. they they <laughs> stop the the visitor. Uh -huh. Otherwise, everything already arranged. We should be in the North Korea. So, uh, so you you went with your three buses. I remember mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you made all this filming documentaries about mm -hmm. the habits, mm -hmm. way of living. Mm -hmm. So, what you, what you have done with this big material, big footage? Oh, every day from Monday. To Friday, mm. we have the one TV channel in Thailand. They are the largest of the channel TV in ASEAN. Okay. Uh, they do every day. I, 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 I make that footage to be make a film. Uh, that the film, the name is uh, Wicom Vision. Vision, vision uh huh? Yeah. I just talk what I found, I feel uh, for the audience, you know, who may learn. So you, know? you were sending it every day, what you have seen there? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, every day. We make a record about a thousand. Yeah. Hours? Yeah, a thousand of the uh, 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 episode, you know, wow. to, to, to the audience. And besides of that, we also the, 
uh, we doing another film for international mm -hmm. uh, called the Asia Rising. Uh, so go over to about uh, 50 some country mm -hmm. yeah, around, around the world. 50 uh, countries, Asia Rising. Yeah, Asia wow. Rising. Why you call it like this? Uh, because of the condition uh -huh. of Asia. It yes. changed. Yes, Asia and is we, rising. We, yes. we, we found Asia is really rising uh, because of number one, the size of the continental. Uh -huh. uh, we are big, you know. Secondly, about the number of the people. We occupy uh, over 60% of the world population. Mm -hmm. Number three is because of the cash. Mm -hmm. You know, Asia have the uh, cash on hand. Over 60% of the world cash. And then uh, the growth of the GDP. Mm -hmm. Asia average growth of the GDP higher than any continental yes, uh, around is. the world. So by such a condition, oh, another one is the Asian behavior. Asian people always love to work. Even you are uh, already very success, uh, already very rich, but the behavior still enjoy to make some economic, still be working. Exactly. They love to work to earn, yes. to keep. And when the Asians make money, they don't spend. Yes. They, they, they love to keep it. So the cash... Saving is good. Saving yes. good, cash is more and more and more. Uh -huh. Then in that case, that means Asia should be rising. And that means Asians to communicate more, to use this power of money, labor mm -hmm. and ambition. Yeah. And do you see Asia being integrated at least as a European Union. Mm -hmm. ASEAN will be uh, one of the uh, you know uh, uh, kind of the commodity. Uh, first of January this year, we already be a one family, from ten to one, uh, no border, and then no conflicts as used to be, because uh, you may say, oh, this is my home, this is your home. Now everyone home is the same. So uh, ASEAN already is a one of the model. We 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 thinking how to reduce our logistic cost. Yes. Ne? Transaction when we no cost. border, yep. then logistic mm -hmm. it will be more safe. Mm -hmm. Secondly, it's about uh, raw materials. You know, uh, when no border, raw material crossing the country, it will be more easy, more convenient. Yep. Number three, is about the uh, uh, the labor, goods, labor. Yeah. And money. And, yeah. And number four is about the FTA. Okay. The free trade, free trade area. agreement. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, really all the area become the free trade. Yes. No no tax. Yes. So when no tax uh, and then all the cost is going down, especially we have the uh, ASEAN plus six. Yes. Yeah. Ten country become sixteen country. Yes. ASEAN with uh, uh, China, Korean, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, yes. and India. Yes. We occupy over half of the world population. Yes. So that is make, you know, our the import export, buying selling, hmm. more 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 uh, cheaper cost. Remember, Europe took about 10, 15 years, mm -hmm. even more. Mm -hmm to just be integrated as a union. Mm -hmm. How long do you think it will take time for Asian countries, other countries to join that group? I think the communications uh, in the world today totally changed. Uh, Save by time and, and then uh, easy to understanding. Communications, uh, it really move. Move all the whatever you would like to be the, in uh, ASEAN faster. Uh, and then uh, another one is uh, a logistic. You may see the uh, Bangkok is the center of the area we call is the capital of the ASEAN. We are in the middle. Uh, Bangkok uh, uh, we, we become uh, over 100 million you know, capacity of the logistic, all the ally or everything. Bangkok airport over 100 some years ago. Uh, they are the earliest uh, international airport in this region. So they have the base mm -hmm. to be move the people uh, go to our neighbor. Mm -hmm. So such a kind of uh, 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 convenient by location, by logistic, by uh, telecommunication, 
of course, I believe the ASEAN can be integrated to mm -hmm. be one family mm -hmm. uh, really, really fast. Well, uh, when we talk about ASEAN, you said about Bangkok being a hub for international air cargo people, etc. And uh, you are the person to check with, to ask with you because you own, you created industrial park, mm -hmm. Amata, mm -hmm. which is now a kind of equivalent of 10% of mm -hmm. uh, Thailand GDP, which mm -hmm. is 400 billion US dollar. So having created this, said, I would say, big junk of the economy, how do you see the role of industrial park in the future in this country? You see the... <clears throat> Uh, Thailand still not really uh, well developing yet. So a lot of utility and infrastructure is not really good as the another country. Mm -hmm. So if you really put industrial park mm -hmm. and you focus whatever call utility and infrastructure mm -hmm. there, no? uh, I would say uh, it will be uh, more easy to manage and more easy uh, to invest. And it, the key point is uh, more easy to control. Today, uh, any country, any people would like to develop something. They always uh, uh, hurt something. We have the philosophy, not win-win. It's called all win. We good, customer good, people live nearby good, country good, society good, environment is good. It's also good. That mm -hmm. means all win. Mm -hmm. It only can be doing the industry by that condition mm -hmm. if we have the put them together mm -hmm. and manage everything. Mm -hmm. We are managed uh, by this system called uh, one-stop service. Mm -hmm. You only produce in your factory when you are our customer mm -hmm. and sell. Mm -hmm. yeah? And then uh, outside of that, we manage for you. Mm -hmm. It means the foreigner, you know. When they, when they come to our country or ASEAN, they don't need to concern anything. You are good in production and you are good in sales. You just do your job. But the less of the job, we do for you. We do everything for them, even stamp the ID card. You know, mm -hmm. so they don't need to be the, have the worker go back home. Mm -hmm. They're just there, you know. We do everything for them. You find a labor as well. Yes, we, we Professionals. also. Professionals. Yeah. So we have everything for them. Mm -hmm. So that means let them focus mm -hmm. into the job. Mm -hmm. So the successful rate in our part mm -hmm. is 99% of our customer. Mm -hmm. Whatever any country you are, mm -hmm. doesn't matter. But if you are good in production and mm -hmm. good in marketing, absolutely. So today you it's total 150 square kilometer land mm -hmm. where thousand companies must be manufacturing working and producing products mm. for the world market, not for domestic market. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. the industrial park concept. Mm -hmm. And in th that means that, do they pay any tax to Thai government? Uh, they get around, uh, uh, in the old day, they get around 13 years of tax free. Three old. Yeah, but however, if they make expansion, uh. they get another 13 year tax free. Ah, I yeah? see. Another one. Uh, if they are located in the free zone, duty-free zone, mm -hmm. no tax. Which is your zone? Yeah, and so, and yes. so we have the duty-free zone. Uh -huh. It's like in Hong Kong, you know, we call mini Hong Kong. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, you just uh, uh, have what you call uh, uh, no, no tax forever, uh -huh. import tax, export tax or whatever. Yes. Uh, that's called duty-free zone. Yes. Number three, ASEAN uh, plus six, we have called the uh, uh, FTA, yeah, uh, free trade agreement, uh, a free trade area, uh, which no, no, uh, it will be minimum or minima your tax, you know, yes. or silo tax, yes, silo. So in that case, uh, all the cost is safe to the consumer. Yes, consumer don't need to pay yes. the tax if you are product of ASEAN. Mm. Uh, that that make the uh, investor. So from Very this year, attractive. many of your customers, I saw mostly Japanese, mm -hmm. also German companies. Mm -hmm. So they will also kind of extend that free trade uh, situation to all Asian countries because yes, it's yes, becoming yes. a one economy. Correctly. Correctly. So in that case, how many of new customers 
in your future you are planning to have, mm. do you extend your industrial park? We are dreaming to be have uh, uh, totally about 2,000 factories. Okay. Yeah, and the land side it will be up to 400, 400. square kilometers. Two and a half times more almost. Well, it, 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 the size of the factory bigger uh -huh. and the product wider. Mm -hmm. So we we dreaming about those. Will you uh, have different kind of industries which you don't have otherwise today? Will yes, you, we are do. you planning? Uh, Thailand, uh, we are the largest of the automotive yes, production it's in ASEAN. It's Detroit of uh, yeah, Asia. We occupy, I think, uh, about nearly 60% of the whole production of ASEAN. Uh -huh. And uh, motorcycle also. Uh, but uh, of course, if you're talking about the uh, base of the motorcycle, uh, automotive, and also agriculture machine, mm -hmm. no? equator mm -hmm. or whatever. Yes. Now they are already done what you call the aerospace uh, part exactly. at over 10 years already here. Probably and uh, then, Airbus is producing here. Oh no, a, a spare part. Spare part. In our Amata, we have over 20 company. Uh, produced this one uh, 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 nearly 20 years ago and they are very successful. Uh -huh. They are now shut down some uh, their plant in some another country I see. and relocate to Bangkok. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Thailand, it become, uh, I think, about the future of the hub of the aerospace, uh, you know, parts so, supply. Uh, parts. Because uh, as Asia uh -huh. uh, 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 are growing so well about the logistics, you may see uh, yes. all the air aircraft, all the airplane. Asia now buying more than any places. Yes, it's so, growing much so faster. When, yeah, so when you have uh, such a market, uh, spare part is important mm -hmm. because uh, when the uh, aerospace run up to, up to some hour, mm -hmm. they have to throw it away. So the spare part is consuming mm -hmm. very high. So Thailand have a good spare part supply. In our park, we also have one of the largest of the automotive part supply in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the warehouse is a huge. They supply over 160 countries around the world. They call on time delivery. Mm -hmm. Every day, 24 hours, mm -hmm. they send it out. You know, they would like to wow. keep the, you know, uh, a lot of the uh, distributor don't need to keep the warehouse. How space. far is this uh, park to the port? Oh, uh, only uh, 30 to 40 minutes. Two minutes, and all logistics are provided by your company? Oh, yes, we do have our the daughter company. Yes. And many, many with uh, logistic company they're doing. Yeah. We, we, we are located only 20 minutes from our airport and 40 minutes uh, to the deep sea port. So very convenient. How do you see the future of industrial park when this uh, IT, mm -hmm. smart technology mm -hmm. becoming a part of uh, everything, every even manufacturing process, robotics come? How do you see that? Will it change your nature? Will it ask you, demand you uh, different you conditions? You know, industry, some uh, is uh, dirty, danger. That is good for you, the robot. No? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but a lot of things uh, still need human. Mm -hmm. But I think the uh, area for the robot mm -hmm. to take care, it more and more and more. Mm -hmm. In our park, we have many uh, manufacturers of robots mm -hmm. in there. And they will be using about this for, for number one, uh, for quality, for cost. Mm -hmm. For cost, it more and more. Uh, about that happen in our industry. Let's talk back about uh, your uh, student time when you were at the, uh, it was a Taiwan National University, right? You came there not knowing English, neither Chinese, and you started to study when Taiwan started just industrialization. Mm -hmm. How much it impacted on your decision to make industrial park or how it come that you decided to make industrial park? Oh, in fact, I, I, I would say the uh, National Taiwan University, uh, luckily I was in the uh, mechanical engineer, so it make help, make help for me uh, by imagination, calculations or planning or whatever, it make help. Secondly, Taiwan 
uh, Taiwan is the country who uh, would call start from food agriculture uh, and then become a kind of the industry yep. and then become a high tech and become a country uh, who doing so many high tech product in Taiwan software or whatever uh, you know I have request by the uh, former of the one of the uh, Ministry of Commerce the minister uh, they are asking me, but, hey, why don't you back home and you help the Taiwanese to uh, <laughs> do some kind of supporting them to make the investment in your country. Uh, because of you, you know Taiwan, you speak the Mandarin or whatever. Uh, I said, oh, good idea. Uh -huh. I got that kind of the concept. I see. And then uh, we, we, we start to do industrial park since 1988, mm -hmm. uh, about uh, uh, 50 hectares. You are the first in this country to start. No, no, uh, they already have uh, a few uh -huh. uh, ahead before. How me. then you get this? Have you ever received any support? How did it went from the beginning? Was oh, it difficult? Going step by step, I don't really have that much money because I'm the start from zero. But uh, I, I, I pick up a good partner. I know money. I ask the bank to be my partner. Uh. I know connection. Uh -huh. I asked one general to be my chairman. Okay, <laughs> general, <laughs> military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't have idea for the construction. Mm. I have one of my, uh, uh, what they call classmate mm. to, to, to do on the construction mm. uh, and marketing. Also, we have some friends. Uh, we, we, I think whatever is our week, mm. no? I, I find out someone who are good on that to, to pick up. <laughs> yeah, what we need. And then, uh, of course, uh, the timing is, is, is right. Uh, I would say the, uh, the day I will start is a good time because the Taiwanese uh, moving out, the mm. Japanese already ahead. Mm. So, so uh, by such a kind of the condition of a good timing, mm. uh, we are very successful, but we go step by step because uh, we are not really uh, have a, a lot of cash everything but how, we have to look in the success i understand however you have you have been buying land so mm. that you own the land mm -hmm, mm -hmm. was it easy to negotiate mm. you know the land owner ah. they are different compared to you know when you're talking for something else on ah. the, another business land is one-time business yes when you sell it out you know more yes so the people is so much careful and hesitate to be, you know, <laughs> selling the, the land to me. Mm -hmm. So very hard to be get a big land and then you uh, uh, have the not empty hole in the middle. Yes. And the problem is that we cannot buy a big land first because no money. What we can do is uh, uh, one, one by one. <laughs> one by one. And, and how the landowner next door, they saw, oh, your guy make the construction. Make guy, you make money. How come? Uh, do you think if you are the land owner, you will like willing to price. be selling cheaper? <laughs> no. No, that is a very hard. But one thing that people found, we went there, we developed, and we not uh, take the advantage of everything. We are gentle, and people have work. People uh, get the, a lot of uh, better life. It's because of us. A lot, a lot of support from local people to us is really great, really nice. I think it's also because you were a farmer yourself from very early childhood. <laughs> I have this wonderful book, Be a Better Man. Uh -huh. By the way, this book is already translated into Mongolian. Oh, really? It yeah, is, yes, and right. not yet printed, uh -huh. but it will be printed shortly. <laughs> and uh, this book, which is about your life, uh, written by you, Mood. I saw also a movie made in Thailand. <laughs> oh, yeah. I understand there may be a Hollywood movie about that. I think it is not only a matter of the young people in Thailand, not only Asia, but all around the world, people have this mm -hmm. gut that you had. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, you had a good uh, knowledge of farming, agriculture. You had a lot of uh, siblings, relatives. That's why probably farmers were more listening to you. This guy may be not cheating. There was, 
And uh, I would like to ask you from the book, the small episode, 10 years old, you were responsible for 300 farmers to harvest on sugar cane field. And then you said, you feel, you felt this responsibility and you must, you at that time said, 10 years old boy, I should lead them by my example. And I was doing it with a smile. <laughs> still you do it? Yeah. It doesn't cost you money. In the old days, I still have some candy in my pocket. In the afternoon when I go say hello, keep them smile on top, I still keep them the candy okay. for the elders people. I, I think the successful of the people need a lot of backup. I get all the backup everywhere, every time I go. <clears throat> I get all the people help me. It's because I think uh, we need to treat the people well first. And the people will be uh, returned <clears throat> to us. So that is a kind of the truth. That kind of the lesson <clears throat> that I got all the time. And I, I wrote in my books, I, I would say I um, really uh, believe on harmony. I believe on cooperation. I believe on vision. So, so that is make me feel whatever I facing difficulty, I try, okay, today maybe I cannot make it, but uh, the time always be there, <clears throat> waiting me. I will go on and on and on until the day come. <clears throat> and at least I can make some moving. Uh, example like uh, <clears throat> our industrial park. We don't have that much money, but we slowly, slowly, slowly doing. A lot, a lot of things you cannot over your capacity. You have to carry the thing under your capacity. You know, uh, that is theft. The same thing happened when you had financial difficulty mm, yeah, to yeah. the banks. You came and told them all truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never hide and I never run away. I said to them only one word, if I'm not die, you will get all the things. <laughs> if I die, I cannot do. <laughs> so please support me. So that is a kind of the support. I got the people. People know my mind. My mind is there. <laughs> I okay. never run away. <laughs> what are the most important principles in life for you? I looking for successful and should be go parallel with the happiness. Success to come with happiness. Mm. How, what, how do you understand uh, I, happiness? I, I, I would mean I don't my how much of the money I can make, but it's successful. Maybe some you lose, but overall you are successful. Doesn't matter how much you do. Mm -hmm. And then happy. I feel proud, you know, when I make the thing success. I always feel everything I have been done. Everyone are good. I'm good. Everyone enjoy. That means happy. Happy and successful is a power for the future. Correct. If you build a base, you know, uh, like a piling. You're piling well. You can build the building high and strong. And all this kind of element is come from your mind. You should be gentle. Exactly. You never run away for what is your duty. You know, and you not take advantage for anyone. You should be fair. I think the fairness is a one of the power between people to people. I today my company borrowed the money, always on the green loan, with the very low interest. It because of what I have been done for the last over forty years. Trust how, people trust you. How many people total working in the industrial park? Nearly 300,000 people. 300, but, but my company only have the over 100 uh, staff. I see. Yeah, of course we have, a, that is a mother company, but uh, we have a, a over 30 company, uh, the, our subsidiary, but, but, but we not use many people. 
last mm. question on just about my country and the connection with Asia. Mm -hmm. Of course, I know that you have spent yeah. just most traveling in Mongolia, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but however, how Mongolia can be integrated into Asia? Three things. Number one, your asset. You have a huge asset. You are bigger than Thailand, and you are richer than many countries. Mining in, wealth, in minerals. Uh, in the world. Yeah? Mm. So number one, I, I would say that because of your asset. Number two is the future. Global warming is really, really hurt about uh, a lot of zoning. So I think people in the old day, they are feel cold. They would like to migrate from the north to the south. Not anymore. I think in uh, uh, your country, it will be more and more <laughs> okay. comfortable. Yeah, so the future is in yours. And then I think the Mongolian, uh, they, they are very complex. You know, you are go around the area a uh, thousand years. You are mixed in many different of the culture. You are very flexible, uh, like your horse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I think Mongolian is the archive of the combinations with many, many. Why American is so strong? Why American have many genus? It's because of combina combinations. You have that. You have the human resources. How you, you make your education, how you put more your facility, and how you open the country more international. I think that you do better than Thailand. Well, with this, uh, your wish, I would like to thank you for being a wonderful guest of my program. Yeah. And uh, in this wonderful country, in beautiful place in your office, <laughs> of Amata Foundation in the middle of <laughs> Bangkok, you would never believe that you can make on the top of building like this. We call Jurassic Park. All right. <laughs> So I wish you uh, and your a lot of siblings, your yeah, staff, yeah. your everybody, uh -huh. good luck, yes. success to you yes. and to your great future. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for Thank coming you. to interview me. Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. 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 Thank you.